welcome back all the students in our first lecture we have seen recapitulation of chemical kinetics today we consider the next part of it and that one is kinetics of third order reactions now whenever we consider about the kinetics of third order reactions then order of such reactions is 3 order is represented by a small letter n and there we find three different ways in which the reactions proceeds with the third order in the part 1 we find a plus b plus c these are the three different reactants in second we find 2a plus b means these two are of similar nature and the other is of different nature or different reactant and this one the third is in this case you find all the reactants are of the same type that's why when we try to consider the first type then it includes the three different type of reactants here it may give one product or more than one in the second case the two reactants of the same nature and the third that of the other may leads one product or more than one similarly that for the third case now in the first order kinetics that is n is equal to 1 we have already seen the mathematical derivation for that and we reach the final derivation and that one is k1 equal to 2.303 upon t log of a upon a minus x now while studying this particular physical chemistry part as it is more theoretical so please try to note it down in your notebook or on the page while listening this particular lectures so take one pen and notebook while i am discussing you please try to note it down on the paper so it becomes easy to understand so in case of first order kinetics we have seen the equation in which k1 is the first order reaction rate constant t is the time a is the initial concentration of reactant and a minus x is the reactant remaining unreacted at time t while x is the amount of reactant reacted at time t in another words x is also called as the concentration of a product form at that instant one can give the very common example for first order reactions and that is thermal decomposition of acetone as well as that of n2o5 while in case of second order reaction kinetics we find the two cases one is with a equal initial concentration means the reaction proceeds as 2a gives products while the another case is the reaction with the unequal initial concentrations in which we find a plus b gives products 
Now both of these gives the different types of final equations. In the equal initial concentration, if we consider, then our equation is K2 equal to 1 upon A into T into X upon A minus X. While for unequal initial concentrations, that is A plus B gives products, the final equation integrated form obtained is K2 equal to 2.303 upon A minus B times T into log of B into A minus X divided by A into B minus X, where a is initial concentration of reactant A, B is initial concentration of reactant B and the remaining terms are having their usual meanings. One can give the very good example that for second order reaction kinetics is thermal decomposition of hydrogen iodide or the Alkali hydrolysis of ethyl acetate. These are the good and common examples that one can consider. Now here in the third year, we see the kinetics of third order re reactions. And according to the syllabus, we are interested only in the reactions with equal initial concentrations. Means this type of reactions, 3 times A gives products, 3 times A gives products. Now here we consider A is again having the similar meaning, it is the initial concentration of reactant, A minus X is the concentration of reactant at any time T and X is the concentration of product or the concentration of unreacted a reactant at that time. Okay, now we can that how we proceed. See now, in this case, we find three A gives products. A minus X is the concentration of unreacted reactant. And here, according to the law of rate equation, the equation is obtained dx by dt means rate is proportional to concentration of reactants at any time t concentration of reactants at any time t and here concentration of reactants is a minus x into a minus x into a minus x because 3a is there if we remove this proportionality sign one can add the proportionality constant we call it is the reaction rate constant and then this equation is represented as rate means dx by dt equal to k into a minus x is to 3 this is a minus x into a minus x into a minus x means a minus x is to 3 now this is the differential form of the third order reaction kinetics now, if we consider its applicability, then one should have to integrate this equation. To integrate it, we are rearranging this equation in the simplified fashion so that we get the concentration terms to one side and other than concentration term or time terms to the other side. So integrating now this equation within the limits that we consider that is initial conditions t is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 means initially there is a zero product or concentration of product is zero and final conditions at any time t there is a concentration of a product is x that we find okay now these limits are substituted in this equation and integration will be carried out now here we represent the integration sign, initial limit 0 to final limit x equal to to the other hand side, left hand side, 
sorry, right hand side we find here initial time is 0 and final time is t. k is constant, so one can take it out of integration sign. Okay, now if we consider the next step, we find the integration of dt is t that is reported here and 0 and t these are the limits those are shown as it is again as it is again okay now to this side this is kept as it is it is not solved here but if we try to solve it it is again simplified in this way so a minus x raised to 3 when it comes to numerator it becomes a minus x raised to minus 3 dx as it is k as it is t as it is within the limits okay now we can find the integration of left hand side and then substituting the limit as well as integration of a right hand side and substituting the limit after substituting the limit we get the further equation the integration of left hand side can be performed by using the simple rule of integration integration of x raised to n into dx is given by x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus this is the constant of integration now we integrate it according to this rule and find the further equation so a minus x raised to minus 3 plus 1 divided by minus 3 plus 1 into into differentiation of this minus x or a minus x a is constant minus x is minus 1 itself so minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 this minus 2 into minus 1 this become plus 2 yeah it become plus 2 and a minus x raised to minus 2 minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 limit as it is from 0 to x and we have solved this right hand side c k into t and here out of bracket 0 to t it is represented so upper limit minus lower limit upper limit is t minus lower limit is 0 so it becomes t itself so k into t is a right hand side integration factor that one can obtain okay now we substitute here upper limit first and then lower limit so upper limit minus lower limit so 1 upon 2 is common constant it will not affect it due to the change in the concentration limit so we can simplify this substituting the limit upper limit minus lower limit and we get this form of equation this is the very simple form of equation we call it is the integrated form of equation for reaction rate constant for third order reactions with equal initial concentrations now this is the very simple form that we are representing it here now if we try to consider to reproduce this equation then one can rewrite it as in the form as a k equal to 1 upon 1 upon 2 into a square into t into bracket x into 2a minus x divided by a minus x bracket square so in this fashion the simplified form of the equation can be represented so one can give the very common examples for the third order reaction kinetics so one can consider the reaction between nitric oxide and oxygen gives twice no2 one can give the another example twice no plus cl2 gives twice no cl twice no plus br2 gives twice no br the reaction between ferric chloride and stannous chloride also follows the third order kinetics the oxidation of ferrous sulfate in water also proceeds with third order kinetics so these are some common examples that we consider here now this we consider as the part of the kinetics of the third order reactions and these are the various forms of the integrated form of the 
equations. Those are applicable to solve the different problems in which if we know the concentration of reactants and products, then we can determine reaction rate constant. If we know the concentration of products and that of reaction rate constant, then one can determine from this equation the initial concentration that is A of the reactants that is used here. So in this fashion, we can consider here or finish the kinetics of third order reactions. Now, we sum up here. In this particular lecture, we have seen the kinetics of third order reaction starting from the very basic equation that is 3A gives products representing its rate law equation, differential form of rate law equation, then substituting the limits in the integration and by using the simple rule the integration will be carried out and rearranging the equation in the final form we can rewrite for the applicable equation. Now in the next lecture we try to cover about the characteristics of third order reactions as well as the different methods used to determine the order of reactions. Thank you all of you.